podcast, which I'll pick up where I left off. So I'm reading this book by um, uh, Vintage uh, Historic Firearms, at Historic Firearms on Twitter, um, uh, whose name is um, uh, <clears throat> Matthew Moss. And um, his, he's written a brief history of the Piat. And uh, the genesis of the weapon is really, really interesting because it's got lot. It's a classic success. Um, it's got lots of fathers. Right. So there's Jeffress, who was a sapper, who was um, uh, a demolitions expert who went to Norway to blow up bridges and just had this ingenious mind. Then you've got Blacker, who's an adventurer and ex-soldier and just sort of uh, extraordinary, crazy guy who learned to fly in 1911 because he right. saw flying was coming, um, spent a lot of time in Waziristan, all that sort of thing, did some flying, did some flying um, in, in Iraq, I think, as well as part of that kind of uh, using using planes to to uh, 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 suppress the, the the locals and all that sort of thing, and he was really obsessed with spigot mortars. He was obsessed with spigot stuff. He invented a recoilless mortar, a, re a mortar that compensated for recoil in the in the twenties, and he comes up with this spigot spigot mortar thing. And the blacker bombard is the yep. first weapon he gets away. It's really interesting. Lindemann is part of that story. He yep. sees the bombard. And takes it to Churchill, and Churchill shortcuts the normal commissioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no weapon. Here. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. ICI make it. So Amazing. ICI come in and go, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll get this weapon together. And what's interesting, 22,149 bombards issued to the Home Guard, right? And it's more effective than the two-pounder that they've got as an anti-tank weapon. Yeah. And it actually kind of works. And it even crops up in North Africa. The New Zealanders are using it. Um, uh, in the defense of Tobruk at one point, or the, uh, so, and, uh, and at the first battle of El Alamein, it's really interesting. So, and it's like, and then you, and then they, and then you know, because Black is obsessed with this spigot thing, says, yeah. Well, we'll we'll make a man portable one, that's what we'll do next, and that's where Jeffress comes in. But again, I see I make them and make millions of the bloody things. It's quite, it's it's really, really interesting. I've got to get this book, I've got and to get the, this book, and the fuse they they perfect the fuse because obviously. You need a you need a fuse that's gonna like um, uh, that's gonna detonate properly in a tank, but also be also be portable, right? So you don't, right. if the if the guy you know jumps into a slip trench, he doesn't set all his peat bombs off. Is what you're, you know. So so it's a detachable fuse. And they end up with a they end up with a with a with a a, a nudge fuse. They call it. The, the, it's just it's it's well worth a read. And then you've got you know several stories of of the peat in use. And people using it for ind indirect fire a lot as a mortar, and in fact right. using it using it as as uh, for that really in the main because they tend not to they tend not to run into tanks if they could possibly help it. So it turns into this um, uh, this anti tank this anti per anti personnel anti pillbox weapon um, as much as anything else. And you know and and it and, and the charge it the charge it fires it's, it's, it's pretty charge. hefty. It's, it's pretty a heat hefty. hollow it's... charge two and a half pounds. And it's got um, uh, and uh, uh, if if it comes up against a you know a secondary piece of armor, it, it won't work because it'll go off on the secondary piece of armor. So if right. a panzer's got skirts on it, the skirts will just which is what they're for is to stop those sort of weapons. Right, right, right. Um, it's re it's it's well worth it's well worth. Well, um, I've just I only just started following him on Twitter, and I think he's great. Yeah, yeah. Definitely have to get the book. Uh, yeah. But but the overall conclusion is that actually the pit's all right. Well, the, the pit's okay, and the and the. The, the all man portable anti tank weapons um, uh, are, are really 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 dangerous for the user. I mean, so, just imagine, just imagine if the British Army had a Panzerfaust or a Panzerschreck. Can you imagine the whinging that would have gone on? Well, yeah, it would set fire to your slit trench. It would give away where you were. You yeah. only got one go with it. Because the thing with a pier is, if you're well trained on it, you can fire five or six rounds in a minute from the thing. If it recocks itself, if it works, can you do that with a Panzerschreck? No. You, I, well, I think you can, but you've put the but the the problem with the Panzer check, of course, is a great big muzzle flash, great big. It gives away where you are, which of course, if if there's infantry about with a tank, and I'm drinking a I'm drinking a Spetburgunder. I'm a it's beer. I'm it's beer. A, yeah, German okay, wine. I'm not in Germany, drinking Fentimans Cola. <laughs> Just wanted to make that absolutely clear. <laughs> when in Rome, people. <laughs> yes, the, well, the the Soviets did buy Piats. And then there's no there's no evidence of them using them. They did buy. They took a thousand, I think, um, and they didn't. And they there's, no one knows if they no one knows if they used them or, or 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 rather he hasn't been able to find that they've used them. Then there's this like there's a there's a there's a there's like a a tropical pit 
there's there's various there's various variants, and one of which is like a handheld pit, which is basically the spigot, um, that the com- some commando comes up with, and uh, and they run tests on this. It's just just too it's too it's too dangerous, um, <laughs> for anyone to use. And then they have a delayed action pit where you click it on the thing, and then you and you have it go off in half an hour, and it and if you've got it aimed properly, you can you can put use it as a use it as a sort of uh, booby trap weapon or it, it's anyway. It's it's well worth a read. And what's like nice about it? It's a nice, it's a slim little volume, covers its subject, lots of good examples. Great. And but the history of how it's developed. That's what it says on the tin. Yeah, yeah. But how ICI come in and go, all right, we'll do it. And and then they get bombed, they get bombed, Billingham's bombed just before they're about to do one of the sets of trials on the weapon, and they sort of have to start again. It's really it, it it's it's pretty interesting. Anyway, um, do you think do you think Steve from Massachusetts has come back? Because I'm I'm a bit worried I, that this is his first first. Stint. I hope so. I hope so. First I mean, stint. with more more many more people than we had on earlier, and then of course the hedgehog and the flying dustbin are spigots yes. too. So anyway, anyway, so that's that we got distracted there. So um, no, but it's good. To, it's really really it's strong. I thought to start off with a big big, big bit peer, of peer, bit, bit yeah. peer chat. Yeah, and there's a there's an excellent cutaway diagram for those of you brought up on cutaway diagrams of what's inside the pit. Anyway, um, a reminder. Yeah, no, that does sound good. Uh, uh, so there's the bo- the books, the inscribed books.